my name is Alexa Lev, and in this video I would like to explore one of the most frequently uh, asked questions about GraalVM, whether a certain piece of code goes through the old compilation pipeline and is being optimized by the top tier JIT compiler on the JVM, which is the GraalVM compiler in the GraalVM distributions, which is so, so good and gives you a performance boost. This is not a trivial question, uh, but the answer is sort of simple and we're going to explore this in this video. I have here a sample application that we're going to run our experiment on. It's a very simple one class app with the main method repeatedly calling the compute method in the, in the loop here. And we run this loop for quite a bit of iterations to ensure that uh, the JVM actually has a reason to uh, think that this method is hot and that it needs to be compiled with the optimizing compiler. I can run this method, of course, I can run this application normally and it will print out some value here, which is the result of our repeatedly calling the compute method uh, to, to provide uh, the number. Now, does the compute method compile or, or not? To learn that, I can explore the configuration and I can use the common line option, the Graal print compilation. Uh, I can set it to true and I can run my application normally with that configuration parameter enabled. So and when I will run it for this, uh, and if I run it repeatedly enough times for the method to actually being compiled, I can see then that the compilation happens and that the Graal compiler uh, shows us in the log. Let's maximize this window. We can see the log and we can see that the number of compilation, the compilation ID, we can see that the main method, main class compute method has been compiled and we can see some data here on the right side as well. So this is the compute method. We can see the time that it took to compile it. We see how much bytecode it takes and we see the code size of the compiled thing. You can also notice some other interesting methods here and some other data. So for example, the main method uh, is being compiled twice. Uh, this is because we the compiler uses the own stack replacement. If it's compiling the method with the loop without actually something calling you this method again from the outside. So the main method is being compiled because it runs a long loop, uh, but it actually the main method is run only once. So this is how you can see uh, whether the Graal compiler actually compiles your method. If you want to explore the compilation results further and see what actually it is compiled and how it transforms your uh, code at runtime to make the optimized version, you can use other parameters uh, to enable that output as well. You can see the Graal dump uh, parameter and you can specify the level. So colon two is a decent level that we can see. And then you can also filter what particular outputs you would like to, you would like to, uh, to see dump there. So if we run this with those two, you can see that we need to ensure that the method actually compiles. And then it says that the graphs that the Graal compiler uses are being in that folder. Uh, and you can use those files to analyze what transformation happened at runtime with the code of that particular method of a class. And you can analyze that. Um, and this is what the team does when they try to find new optimizations that the GraalVM compiler can uh, implement to make your code even faster. More information can be found, of course, on the website, uh, but this is how you can find out whether your code is being optimized by JIT or not. Thank you very much.